As you can see here, we've done a uh, start of the deck. Start of the decking doing 45 degrees. We've got the steps here coming up. Uh, we're going to go 45 degrees all along here. And when we come to this, we're going to change directions. And we get to that end, we're going to also change directions. Just gives the deck a different feel, different look. Um, because we have these supports in this way and those going that way, we can, we can allows us to do that. So um, this is just the beginning here. It's going on pretty good. Going down, leaving a little bit of a space here. And uh, we're just 45 degree each of these angles. At the end, we're going to cut and clean that up. You can see uh, this is our dedication to this deck here. We've, it's raining, it's been pouring all day, and we're still working hard. So the screw bucket is empty. And then we gotta buy some more screws. But it's coming along nice. Got this side all done. As you can see, we still haven't cleaned that off, but um, now we're going down the middle. And when we started here, we started at this point, worked away this way, and then went down that way, and we're staggering the joints. So it's coming along nice. And I think that's enough for the day since we're out of screws anyway. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to lay uh, a board down. So um, a row of boards down actually. Here we can see that we caught the edge of a two by 10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-drill the edges to make sure that it's gonna hit both. We don't wanna split the ends of the wood. Uh, now what we're doing for spacing is just taking a roofing nail, putting it between, pushing against the board, make sure we have a nice space. The reason you want to leave space, as you can see, we have some of the trees falling here. It's kind of filling these cracks here. So um, if you made it tighter, also it, when it got wet, it could swell. So you want to leave a good space for that to come through. As big as a space you go, eventually stuff's going to get caught in here. So you can just take a leaf blower, blow that out, power washer, get that out of there. But as long as you have a good amount of space between your boards here, that's what you want. Now I'm going to show you here is just from measuring everything. Um, as you can see, we have these joints staggered. Um, so you can't really see where the joints are. And you won't have a spring effect here because it's all um, jointed in separate places. So what I normally do is I'll have a seven... I have a 16 foot board on one side, and then I'll go to the next side, the 16 foot board, and then I'll put a 16 foot board in the middle. Splitting it up um, and making less cuts for myself. So what I'm gonna do here is put tape measure in. And we're gonna go down to, see a 16 foot here would reach the middle of nowhere, so we're gonna go back to 177 and a half, which I've already written down here from a previous cut. Um, so 177 and a half. Move that there. So we're gonna get a board here. And when you pick out the boards, you can see some of them have like cracked edges. Uh, just to save time, I try to find a board that has a good edge and that way I don't have to cut both edges. Now, normally you would wanna cut both edges because sometimes they could be crooked. Um, but these boards here have been pretty good. I haven't needed to cut both edges. It saves me time. I look at my board, look for any defects in the surface. Some of these boards here I have found, I'll show you. An example of a defect. I've found some defects in these boards, cracked edges here, uh, pieces coming up here. Anything like that, just leave in a pile. You can use for end pieces, scrap wood. Uh, you will most likely use it before the end of the project. If not, you can bring it back to where you purchased, um, purchased the boards from. So now what we're going to do on our saw, we're going to have a clean cut side and a rough cut side. On my saw, my clean cut side is going to be on my right hand side. You can see kind of uh, marks it here for you too on the guard. 
Make sure it's at zero, nice and tight on zero. You go down again, checking my board, make sure the edge is nice. Walk down here. We're at 177 and a half. And we want to make sure that this board is flush against the guard here. Just set up a, because they're so long, just a little thing for the wood to be held on. Got my mark, I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to push against the guard. We want to make this sure this is nice and tight. If not, your cut can and will be crooked. So we're going to nice tight against here. Now to grab it, um, put your blade down, touch the, the wood and just shuffle it just along here. Now on the right side, your saw blade will take out about one eighth of an inch. So you want this, I want this line to disappear basically. Uh, if you're not very familiar with cutting, do a couple cuts here and just shift your board over until you get it. Make sure you're taking the saw all the way out and starting from the top. You always want to work forwards, you're gonna cut down and into it. So never, never cut back here and then out, it can grab your board and that's very bad. So here we go, I'm going to cut the board. As you can see, there's just a little bit of a mess on this side. If we had to cut on the other side, we'd have to sand that, so it just saves us time. You get a nice clean edge on this side, maybe a little bit, but as good as this saw is going to do. We have a finished blade on here, so that's important. Make sure you have the right blade with the right teeth uh, on here. So now we're going to lay this down, and then we're going to get our next cut measurement. Okay. So now you want to check your board. Make sure you did everything right. And landing here perfectly right in the middle. That's what we wanted. So now we're going to get next measurement. Now I had a couple scrap pieces, um, so I'm going to use that. And I want the scrap pieces to land not in a joint, so um, we can stagger them. So I'm probably going to go right about here. What I'm doing, I'm just going all the way to the edge, and I'm just going to minus. So I have. 49, 49 and a quarter, maybe a little bit less than 49 and a quarter. So I'm going to take about half an inch off this, and that's going to be what I want to cut. So half an inch off that is 48 inches and three quarters, and that's going to give me basically right here. I'll just show you. We went in the middle of this board. Uh, actually, it's a little bit closer to 48 and a half. Check that again. Oh, let's try that. So 48 and a half. So that, that's more accurate. Again, always good to double check your measurements. 48 and a half. Going to get that cut. And then I'm going to show you uh, just screwing it in from the beginning to end. And that'll give you a good idea of how you're laying your boards. So I get my last board in here. You can see it's a little bit tight. Um, so I have a saw right up here. I'm just going to trim a little bit off. I just leave this up here just to do any kind of finish, finish work here. Just going to take a hair off. And that should fit nicely. Nice. We want it to have, you know, just a hair of a space, um, just to leave expansion if it gets uh, wet or anything. Um, and as far as spacing this, taking a nail here, popping this guy in here. This is a, a solid post here, so I'm not gonna have to pre-drill because these screws that we use, I can see the end here has a little drill portion, so. Uh, I'm not going to need to pre-drill that, but if it was any closer, I would pre-drill it. So you're going to start at one end of the, the board, go all the way down, get your nails in. Some of these boards, you actually, it's good to have two people because you're going to need to pull in or push out. 
uh, to get it even because the boards are slightly warped to the left and right. Again, we're pre-drilling here the ends. We have two pieces that meet up. And um, just good to work one way down and work one way back. That way you don't have any buckling. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm finishing up this portion of the deck against the house. This is a little tricky, so I figured I'd show you guys how to, the best way I found on how to do this. Um, so I'd like to have a single piece come right from my, my uh, slider here. Just so I don't have any cracks and there's no wobbling or anything like that. So um, in front of this, I have about a 12 foot board. And as you can see against the house, on this side, it seems to fit in fine. Get a good space and everything. This side, a little too tight. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna mark the side that's too tight. I'm just gonna kinda get it up so it's level. And I'm gonna leave, again, the space that we're gonna need for these nails. So I'm marking right here with the space of the nails plus the board. Um, now, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to draw on the opposite side because I want the cut side to be against the house. So I get this distance against the house. Now I'm going to go to this side and see where it starts coming about this point right here. This is the width fine. So what I'm going to do is again against the house, I'm just going to mark it right here in the end. Um, at this point now, I can take my board out and I'm going to draw a line from that point to this point and I'm going to cut it and uh, we're going to put it in and see what happens. Alright, so I have my line marked. I have it clamped down to a nice solid surface. just against the scrap part of the deck I'm going to be cutting off anyway. So I'm just going to take my saw, line it up cut it down and we'll uh, test it and see how it fits. So line it up, push it against, back it off a bit, turn it on, and then I'm going to push it down. Okay, it's cut. I mean, a little bit of jagged edges, but um, we just want it nice and snug against the house. If it's not perfect, no big deal. Um, we just want to have that good spacing there. And uh, that's the most important part is the spacing. Making sure that basically we're going to be vinyl siding this house, so there'll be a cap over there anyway. Um, and, you know, the house isn't perfect either so gives it tricky to get it all in here but that's looking pretty good we're gonna see maybe a couple spots here that I need to trim out a bit more but now that I can see it you know, sp spaced here so I would mark from here to there where it's tight it's gonna give me a little bit more play but uh, I'm gonna take a nail here first a couple of nails I'm gonna go down here and see where my tight spots are obviously here is fine and then as you come down to here, it starts getting real tight. If it's too tight to put a nail in, probably go back and trim that out again. So, do a couple, uh, a couple more cuts. This side seems a little bit tight too. So, about here and there, 
Let me trim that out again. So you can see I finally got my 12 foot board in here. A couple of uh, nail spacing. A little tight in some spots, but overall the thing screws are in. So it's, um, I had to just keep adjusting, keep sawing until you, you feel like it's gotten it right. Nice and even here. I gotta put some more screws in it to hold it down, but that's my finished board. So now it comes all together. Um, if you weren't vinyl siding, what I would say is put some sort of board to hide your rough edges against the house. Um, just cut maybe one of these boards down and put it against here, or a little molding piece, anything, just to hide that. And it's gonna clean up your corners real nice. So we'll just get this last one finished and uh, that'll be the front part of this deck. And then we need the lower portion. Get a couple stairs here, but um, it's coming along nice and we have all different directions as you can see. This is one direction. Keep switching it up. Uh, it's going to look real neat when it's all finished and stained and everything. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video. And if you have some time, um, please click the subscribe button here. And if you also liked it, please give me the thumbs up like. Um, that will help me, my videos out greatly in my channel. And finally, you can actually um, view uh, more about my posts and videos at reviewoutlaw.com. And I put a link here in the show notes. Thank you.